So we're here at Waterford at the SeaTech uh, demonstration site. We was over here actually in January looking at the Carlo site um, at Cheggers, looking at the um, nitrogen use efficiency. While I was over there, we was talking mainly around the disease resistance that's in LG Aurelia. Um, main focus being light leaf spot. At the time, there wasn't actually that much light leaf spot to see. Um, but since we've been, actually, if you look at the stems here, there's quite a lot now. Um, as you can see, that's progressed off the leaves onto the stems. So this isn't LG, this isn't Aurelia, this is a, a, another variety that I found in the trials. Um, if we look at Aurelia here, as you can see, what we were saying in January has actually stayed true. So that light leaf spot resistance has held really strong. Uh, move from the foliar, the stems are really clean and green and that will carry it right through to harvest, maximising yields. So TYV resistance or turnips yellows resistance is the backbone of the LG or C rate breeding portfolio. Uh, and what it offers is growers is, is that security and yield. Uh, TUIV is a virus transmitted by uh, Mises persicae or peach potato aphid and it's effectively like the, the oil seed rape having uh, long COVID or the flu, it's constantly fighting something else and not fulfilling its yield potential. Um, TUIV we see as the backbone of any IPM strategy on farm in terms of reducing insecticides and that resistance actually allows you to not spray for that Mises in that, in that autumn period. The main process with looking at hybrids is really what we've been able to do in terms of trait stacking. Uh, one of the most important traits I consider is pod shatter resistance uh, and that's in both Aurelia and Algae of Aeron. What pod shatter does is it ultimately secures yield towards the end of harvest um, up until harvest. So when pod shatter is really important is securing final yield. The maximum that you're going to spend on that crop has already been inputted in terms of fertiliser, fungicides, herbicides. Um, the only thing that you haven't spent is the combine, the diesel for the combine. So pod shatter resistance really is that final layer. And actually when you're looking at hybrids, LGV1 and Aurelia, really that pod shatter resistance is a no-brainer.